Well, greetings again. This is Dr. Bill White, and we've got a case here that I want to share. We're going to cut the thing up into s several parts. And this is the most complicated case, and it looked like it wasn't all that terribly bad when we started. And I was working on this young lady in the office, and she was with us for a good many years, and we treated her off and on for uh, over 15 years, something like that. And I'll, I'll just go to go through it and we're going to put it up into five different parts for you to see. And uh, if you get confused with it, don't feel bad. It's just, it's got some of everything almost that we uh, do in treatment. So let's get started on it and uh, I'll try to go as fast as I can. Uh, the young lady started to work for me. I think she was about 20-something years old. And uh, her facial structure was very full in here, you see. And she watched us treat cases and take teeth out on them and bring the facial structure back in. And she decided she wanted to have her face brought in. And she had a... TMJ problem to start with. The, her jaw joint never did get completely uh, well, it seems to me like. And this is after several, from eight, 1986 to 2003, as you see the facial profile and you see the facial profile here. It made her look a lot better and uh, we had a lot of problems with it going. So I was working on her off and on and this was free gratis stuff. And here she is after we got it back in. And this is the end of it in 2003, uh, right here. So starting off uh, we st uh, the model picture, you will notice the extraction uh, here. We did this in 1986. And then here it is in 2003. Now. Uh, we took the teeth out here. In other words, we wanted to take these teeth out and bring these teeth back in. And you'll notice the teeth leaning more in this direction. And after we finished, the teeth are more straight up and down in here. And we had to put her back in another splint after we got the case finished. Now, I don't know about... Uh, uh, marking the name off here and this is from this side and this side was a class one we took these teeth out and we were going to bring these teeth back in and just reduce the fullness of the profile in there and doing that now this is the bottom arch we also we widened this out with a large arch wire and we did a palatal separator on the upper. And you can see where we, we put some blocks in back here when we took these teeth out so we could close the bite down. And the bite deepened before I noticed it there. And we had to put intruding arches and different things like this to, to bring it to flatten it back out again. This is 1998. We had it closed together and everything. And we watched her and she still had a joint problem and we put her back in a splint later on. Now let's go and see what then now there is the upper arch and we put a palatal separator. You'll see some pictures of it. We took these teeth out now and bring this back in and we're gonna we widen this out and you notice the different width of this arch as it compared to this one over here, over here where we started from. So let's go ahead to the next. Now, this, this is the end that we are using, part one, and we're going to start over and do a part two. So I hope you will watch this straight through. I worked on this young lady for years and uh, this, she was working in the office. We did all this at just random prices. And in fact, I didn't charge her anything. 
Uh, but uh, we use nearly everything you can think of uh, in here in treating this case. So I'm going to close up and stop, and we'll start back on class uh, the second one. Okay. I stopped double-clicking.